Ooh. How's it going, people? Well, first day back in Sacramento, California. Minnesota was great. Just didn't seem like uh, it would be fitting to do uh, drinking game videos there. Although, to be honest, in my dad's neck of the wood, I didn't, woods, I didn't see a single uh, Mormon church. Didn't see any mosques either. <laughs> It's a little bit of Methodist, a little Baptist, a lot of Catholic. Uh, still drinking some hemp ale. Had a couple left. Oh. So. Chapter 35 of the Book of Alma. Looks like it's got about, uh, about four drinks. And it starts with one. The beer is just to keep me company between drinks. And uh, Best of Godzilla soundtrack. Let's read the masthead real quick. Uh, Nephite missionaries retire to the land of Jershom. Their Zoramite converts expelled from their own country rejoin them. Preparations for war. So, as you remember in the last couple of chapters, uh, or the last three videos, a lot of brainwashing techniques being used there. <laughs> the desire to believe before you believe. Hey, listen to your heart, not your head. Well, it was pretty successful apparently. I don't see how, but it was. So, here we go. This is uh, following all that shit. Ah, woo! Verse 1. Now it came to pass that after Amulek had made an end of these words, they withdrew themselves from the multitude and came over into the land of Jershom. 2. Yay! And the rest of the brethren after they had preached the word to the, unto the Zoramites, because remember they split up, uh, also came over into the land of Jershom. Three. And it came to pass, excuse me, It's nice to take a break from this. And it came to pass that after the more popular part of the Zoramites had consulted uh, together concerning the words which had been preached unto them, they were angry because of the word, for it did destroy their craft. Therefore, they would not hearken unto the words. Isn't that the way it is? Yeah, majority rules. That's why this isn't compatible with democracy. Or that other book. Or any of those other books. Four. And they sent and gathered together throughout all the land, all the people. Wow, that must have been some undertaking. Can you imagine doing that in America? <laughs> or England, or Germany, or anywhere. Get an entire people to gather in one spot. But they did it here. They got them all to show up so they could take a poll. <sighs> That's what's so unrealistic unre about the book of Matthew. <laughs> Yeah, just don't milk those cows. They'll be fine. They won't go dry. And yeah, don't worry about it. It might take you several days, but that's all right. You can just leave all your shit. You got to go gather on foot. That's right. They got horses, don't they? In North America and South America and all that. 
All right. Yeah. They gather together all the uh, throughout all the land, all the people, and consulted with them concerning the words which had been spoken. Five. Now their rulers and their priests and their teachers did not let the people know concerning their desires. Ah, get in your closet. <laughs> Therefore, they found out privily the minds of all the people <laughs> testing the waters. Is it just a bitchin' soundtrack? You should buy it. Six. And it came to pass that after they had found out the minds of all the people, those who were in favor of the words which had been spoken by Alma and his brethren were cast out of the land. Get in that closet. And they were many. And they came over also into the land of Jershon. <laughs> Where else could they go? Now that they showed up and fucked up their lives. But at least they got a great afterlife to look forward to. Eh. Another dead soldier. <sighs> but the war goes on. Seven, And it came to pass that Alma and his brethren did minister unto them. 8. Now the people of the Zoramites were angry with the people of Ammon. Yeah, we know that already. You said it earlier. They were angry, remember? Yeah, they were angry with the people of Ammon who were in Jershom. And the chief ruler of the Zoramites, being a very wicked man, sent over unto the people of Ammon, desiring them that they should cast out of their land all those who came over from them unto their land. It's kind of irrational, don't you think? I mean, why should he give a fuck? Oh, that's right. You don't want them to have a bigger army, I guess. More cannon fodder. Or is this like arrow fodder, I guess. Ah, ah, there we go. Nine. And he breathed out many threatenings against them. And now the people of Ammon did not fear the, their words. I thought only he was breathing out threatenings. Their words. Therefore, they did not cast them out, but they did receive them all, the poor of the Zoramites. They did receive all the poor of the Zoramites, that they came over unto them, and they did nourish them, and did clothe them, and did give unto them lands for their inheritance. And they did minister unto them according to their wants. Oh, really? <laughs> Ten. Now, this did stir up the Zoramites to anger it against the people of Ammon. And they began to mix with the Lamanites. Jungle fever, baby. And to stir them up also to anger against them. Eleven. And thus the Zoramites and the Lamanites began to make preparations for war against the people of Ammon and also against the Nephites who are whatever. That's right. They're two different exoduses, I guess. I guess. Eleven. 
Oh, did I tell you I'm doing DNC and Pearl of Great Price next? <laughs> when I finally finished this, uh, almost halfway there, I think. Just about halfway. Chip it away. Twelve! And thus ended the 17th year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. And the footnote reminds us that it's still 74. It's BC 74. Thirteen. First. Oh, that's so nice. Hemp ale out of Humboldt. Thirteen. And the people of Ammon departed out of the land of Jersham and came over into the land of Melech and gave place in the land of Jershom for the armies of the Nephites, that they might contend with the armies of the Lamanites, since they're getting 10% of their substance. And the armies of the Zoramites, because remember the other guys uh, are pacifists. And, you know, they're like Gandhi. They just take it instead of fighting back. That works. And thus commenced a war betwixt the Lamanites and the Nephites in the eighteenth year of the judges. And an account shall be given of their wars hereafter. So we got something to look forward to, don't we? <sighs> oh. And Alma, and Ammon, and their brethren, and also the two sons of Alma. <laughs> return, return to the land of Zarahemla. <laughs> After having been instruments in the hands of God, of bringing many of the Zoramites to repentance. And as many as were brought to repentance were driven out of their land. But they have lands of their inheritance in the land of, Z of Jershom. And they have taken up arms to defend themselves and their wives. <laughs> and children and their lands. You know... If you defend your land, you're defending all the other things that are on it. <gasps> all right. Fifteen. The first. <sighs> now, Elm, uh, being grieved for the iniquity of his people... Yea, for the wars and the bloodsheds and the contentions which were among them, and having been and having been to declare the word, or sent to declare the word, pick one. God, you're writing on gold, dickhead. <sighs> Yeah, people believe this. Among all the people in every city, and seeing that the hearts of the people began to wax hard. Uh-oh, wax on, wax off. <clears throat> Time to wax off. And that they began to be offended because of the strictness of the word. It was cramping their style. Yeah. His heart was exceeding sorrowful. So you made Alma Jr. all sad, pricks. Sixteen. Therefore he caused that the sons, that his sons, should be gathered together, that 
he might give unto them every one his charge. Separately. Okay, we got a lot to look forward to. And I'll bet it's a lot of repetition. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it is. See, I read this last year. And I kind of remember around a little bit. All right. It's hard to read this book without, you know, going into a coma. But, yeah. I seem to remember this, that it's a lot of talking to, uh, uh, hang on. God damn it. Heal man! And then, not so much as other brothers. I guess they had time to talk on the road. <laughs> that was deeply felt. Uh, therefore, he caused that his son should be gathered together, that he might give unto them every one his charge separately concerning the things pertaining unto righteousness. <laughs> like it isn't self-explanatory. Come on, it's God. It should be self-explanatory. He's perfect. If it isn't easy to understand, it's imperfect. <laughs> And we have an account of his commandments, which he gave unto them concerning his own word. Command of the, in, in real big bold. The commandments of Alma to his son Helaman, comprising chapters 26 and 27. So, the next two chapters, he's going to be talking to Helaman. And if I remember right, it's nothing new. He's telling him, in real time, everything that's already been detailed on gold. Really? Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And it's good to be back.